This video is made possible by the lovely people over on my Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the channel or you want to get your hands on some awesome high quality STLs, then please visit patreon.com forward slash will at heroic studios. Have you ever ran into this issue with your Cobra Max? And have it ever made you want to do this? But what if I told you you can probably save your hair as well as me discovering the problem and possibly coming up with a solution for you? Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Will and I'm at Heroic Studios. i um, been having a little issues with my Cobra Max. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people kind of <laughs> shitting on the Cobra Max and it's not a bad printer. It is a little, maybe could use a little bit of improvements in terms of design, but I still get good prints off of it. So I have been printing a lot of stuff on my Cobra Max and I noticed that some of the lights, mainly the white LED has been flickering. And so didn't really think much of it. After that, I went ahead and changed out my whole hot end. I put in a new hot end, changed my nozzle, and then I went to go and level. And that's when this problem popped up. Now, this has been popping up every so often, but it, it seems to have corrected itself on its own. So I really didn't think much of it until today, it started becoming a little bit more consistent. And so I had to take the whole thing apart, the whole hot end, the whole cage and kind of look in and see what was going on. <clears throat> I dreaded this for a long time because I don't know how the levy queue system works. It's very, very new to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it works. So jumping into this blindfolded, hey, I had to get into it so I can make this video so I can show you exactly what you need to do. So what's the problem here? What is going on with the levy queue system? Well, one of two things could be the issue. My issue and a lot of the issue that other people are having, their issue is this ribbon cable here. Let my past self explain. All right, so if you're getting this message here, there's something going on with the wire. So you see that red LED? If it's not on, you have a problem. It's not the cables here. It's not that. What's the problem is this ribbon cable here. Observe. You see how it flickers when you move it? There is a faulty connection in this ribbon cable, and if you're having that problem, you probably need to reach out to any cubic. As long as that red LED is set, it should be good. So I use one of the clips right here to keep it in place. Um, I'm gonna try and level it and see what happens. Okay, so this ribbon cable is very faulty, okay? That, and I, I had to bet money on it, and I hope I don't, but if I did, I will say that one of the pins in this ribbon cable is delivering power and that pin is probably defective, which becomes a problem because at the end of the day, power being transferred from the power supply over into this hot end, that controls the heat, that controls the fans, that controls the leveling system, that controls everything. So if the fans go out, you're gonna have a heat creep problem, which is what I experienced when I went ahead and thought I had fixed the issue. I had to MacGyver something together and I put it together and it seemed to work very, very well until I realized that my fans were not working and I got a clog in the PCFE tube and I learned that my fans were not properly working. So I had to go back to the drawing board. Now, if you're dissecting your uh, leveling sensor or whatever the case, or whatever you call it, um, there are the red LEDs that is inside of your cage that is supposed to be on the moment you turn on your printer. If that LED is not on, then you have a problem. Now, someone in the Facebook group, uh, Cobra Max users, I don't know what the name of it is, came at me and said that it's probably not the ribbon cable, it's probably the Bowden tube. That could be a possibility, actually. So, before I go into that, this is what I did to fix, temporarily fix my printer. So I, I got it leveling as it should, and it's doing it with this bootleg jerry rig I got going on here just for the leveling. So seems to be doing the thing. And so we're just going to have to wait. But yeah, no, this cable, this cable is probably why a lot of people are having 
leveling problems because this thing here is is faulty so just a heads up you need to either get one replacement from any cubic if your printer is still under warranty or go ahead and try and buy one off ebay they're like 50 bucks so good luck works fine i'm printing something right now everything looks good i have no complaints um, keep in mind that you need the level system in order to level your printer. Obviously, you don't need it necessarily printing. Actually, I take that back. I am not entirely sure if you do because that data when you level your printer has to go somewhere, it has to be stored. So if it's stored on the board, that means the board needs power in order to tell the G code exactly where the leveling needs to be. Okay, that's just me throwing some probably nonsense out there, but in my head, that, that I figure that that's how it works because we don't level it manually, we level it with the auto level. So that data from the 16 point mesh has to go somewhere and has to be stored in order for the printer to work right. Same, okay? So if you have leveled your printer and you're experiencing this problem, well, you're gonna have to do what I did just now, okay? However, if you are having this problem but your printer's working fine you don't really need to worry about your printer per se you don't need to worry about changing that out per se it'll work fine the only time you're going to need to do that is when you change your nozzle out you change your hot end out to level it and if you have any issue you're going to have to MacGyver something to get this going okay so um my acquaintance over on the, the cobra max group, uh, group has designed a little uh mounting for the Bowden tube. Now, when you pull this off, you'll see that the Bowden tube is going directly into the uh, hot end, straight down to the nozzle. If you look where the wires are over to your left, you'll see that that is connected to something that is right where that Bowden tube goes in. That is your levy cube system. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know how it works. All I know is that that's where the cables are going. So it is related to the Bowden tube. So that's problem number two, part of the second problem. It could be your ribbon cable and it can be your Bowden tube. Now, if it's your Bowden tube, you don't want to use these little clips that came with the printer in order to attach your ribbon cable and your Bowden tube together. You don't want to do that because if your Bowden tube is being highly sensitive to that sensor, it's not going to work. So, link in the description, go print out this part. It will save you a ton of headache. Okay, number two, you can go ahead and swap out the ribbon cable. The problem is that this ribbon cable is not cheap. You're looking at about a good $50 on eBay to get a replacement uh, ribbon cable. And uh, it's coming from Germany. And uh, it's gonna take about a few weeks. So, you're gonna have to be, use your noggin for the next couple of weeks if you do decide to order that. If you wanna use your printer and get some prints done, you're gonna have to use uh, whatever system, whatever part, whatever it is that's wrong with you, you're gonna have to figure it out. Again, all you have to do is get that red LED on to level your printer. Once the leveling is done, it should work just fine. So take that with you, what you want, that's up to you, okay? So this is gonna be a really quick video. I don't have a lot to say. I just thought that people are having this problem because I'm seeing it pop up everywhere and I didn't think it would happen to me, but it did. So here's my two cents to you. This is what you can do to fix it. Very simple fix. Either replace the parts or go ahead and download and print out this little uh, mounting system that you see right here from uh, one of the members in the Cobra Max group. So real easy stuff to do and I hope you guys have this sorted out. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Of course, please like and subscribe. And before I go, quick shout out to my Patreons. Never figure out which side this is. Here, they're, they're here, camera right there. Right there, there you go. Shout out to my Patreons. If you guys wanna be, become a patron, please check out my Patreon, Will at Heroic Studios. I do a Power Ranger centric Patreon where I do statues, props, cosplay props, whatever you want, there you go. It's a lot of fun printing it out. And this month we're running the Gold Ranger from Power Rangers Yo. So if you guys are into that, go check it out, subscribe, and uh, get you some high quality STLs. And get a shout out on my Facebook or, sorry, on my YouTube video. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys see you pretty soon with another video. Take care of yourself.